Hi friends, in this video we will see question number 33 from GATE 2017 question paper. Please hit the subscribe button below this video to get all latest updates from our channel. So question number 33 is, consider a combination of T and D flip-flops connected as shown below. The output of the D flip-flop is connected to the input of the T flip-flop and the output of the T flip-flop is connected to the input of the D flip-flop. Initially, both Q0 and Q1 are set to 1 before the first clock cycle. The outputs and the options are A, Q1, Q0 after the third cycle are 1, 1 and after the fourth cycle are 0, 0 respectively. B, Q1, Q0 after the third cycle are 1, 1 and after the fourth cycle are 0, 1 respectively. C. Q1, Q0 after the third cycle are 0, 0 and after the fourth cycle are 1, 1 respectively. D. Q1, Q0 after the third cycle are 0, 1 and after the fourth cycle are 0, 1 respectively. So now we will see explanation to this question. So we are given with the combination of T and D flip flop and the input of D flip flop is the output of T flip flop and T flip flop is having input as output of D flip flop which is Q0. So first of all we will see the truth tables of both T and D flip flops respectively. So for T flip flop T is the input, clock is the clock which is gi given as input, QT plus 1 is the next state and status is the status which can be hold and toggle. So for 0 as input and clock as high, it results in QT which simply means it will hold the state. And for input as T equals to 1 and the clock is high, we expect a toggle that is QT bar which is it toggles the previous stage. And for D flip flop that is delay flip flop if we have input as 0 and high clock it turns in 0 that is reset and for input 1 and high clock it results in 1 that is it sets the status. So now as we know both the truth tables of D and T flip flop we will try to evaluate what will be the states of Q1 and Q0 when the clock is provided from here. Friends now we will see the working of this circuit. First of all we will start with the present state that is at clock cycle 0 the states are Q1 is equal to 1 and Q0 is equal to 1. So we provide the input 1 to D flip flop from Q1 and 1 input to T flip flop from Q0 as, as Q0 is 1 we send this 1 to here. So now we will see for clock 1. So we trigger it for clock 1 and it will toggle the input. So for input 1 for T flip flop it's QT bar. So it will toggle the previous state. So as it was initially 1, it will be 0 now. And for D flip flop, if the input is 1, it will be 1. So it will be set. So for 1, the next state will be 1. So for after clock 1, Q1 is 0 and Q0 is 1. So now we will send the input to D flip flop from Q1 as 0 and from D flip flop Q0 this one to input of T flip flop. So it will be 1. So now as the T flip flop is having input 1 it will toggle the output. So this 0 will become 1 and as the input to D flip flop is 0 it will reset. So the output initially is 1 and it will convert it into 
zero. So after second clock cycle, outputs are one and zero. So now the inputs will be this one will be sent here. So it will become one, and this zero will be sent to input to T. as it will become zero here so now this t flip flop with input zero will hold the value so this one will be one only and for one as input to d flip flop it will set the value so this zero will become one so after third clock cycle the output are one and 1 as you can see 1 and 1 so now we will send these input to here so this one will go to here so new input is 1 and for these output will go to input of t flip flop so here it's 1 so we will replace this 0 with 1 So now, one is the input to this T flip flop at the start of fourth clock cycle. So now we apply the clock, and this one input of T flip flop will toggle this output. So it will become zero, and output to D flip flop. with input as 1 will be 1 so this 1 will become 1 so after fourth clock cycle the outputs are q1 is 0 and q0 is 1 so it's 0 1 so friends as per our explanation answer to this question is after the third clock cycle we are having Q1 and Q0 as 1 1, and after fourth clock cycle, we have Q1 and Q0 as 0 1. So, as per our explanation, answer to this question is option B. So, friends, thanks for watching our video. Please like, subscribe our channel, and share our videos to appreciate our work. If you have any doubt or question, please comment below and keep watching our channel for videos like this.